Here we go again. Here we go again. Another shooting or mass shootings in the space of one week or so in Grand Cayman. I just had to stop by and just do this quick little um, video here because it is sad. People, it is sad. And when we see a nation, when we see a people, a country, an island, whatever you want to class it as, turn their backs on God. Now, you've got to understand that when all of us speak, we speak in a generalized form. So we know that it's not everybody who has turned their backs on God. But I'm quite sure that many of you would understand what I mean when I see it, when I see what I see. When you have a nation that turned their backs on God, you know, and, and rise up against God and flaunt, you know, all kinds of abominable behavior and and things in the sight of God as if he is not needed and as if he doesn't exist, then we must expect these kind of things. You know, I prophesied, um, you know, probably about a year and a half ago that the floodgates were opened in the Cayman Islands. The floodgates were flung open and, you know, demon Satan and his cohorts, you know, would take over and have full control. We see what's happening in other countries. We see what's happening. Look at, look, look, look at what's happening. And uh, my soul goes out to the innocents and, you know, to the family of the, you know, former prime minister or whatever. But when we see what's happening, even in Haiti, the turmoil, you know, the guns, the violence, the killings, the mass shootings, the assassinations and all that. Why do you think that it can't? come to the borders or hit the shores of the Cayman Islands. Let me tell you something. I am not shocked one bit by nothing that I will hear now coming out of Cayman. I am not shocked. A few years ago, um, you know, there was a politician. And when um, the gang started in the schools, um, I, don't, I won't call a name, I'm a woman of wisdom. Some of you might have known about it. But um, this politician is, has died since. May his soul rest in peace. But when these gangs started in school and they started with their war in schools and started with knives and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Oh, this politician said when he was told, um, even to me, he reached out and said, you know, because he was, he was in charge at that time with education and stuff. And I said, sir... You know, you all need to get some counseling in the schools and you need to, you know, we need to clamp down on these young people with all of this violence that is started. Oh, you know, pastor, it's just, these are young people. These are young people, um, you know, they, you know, they just going through their cycle, you know, they don't mean no harm. And, I, and within years, we had the gangs. I want you all to know, for those of you that think Cayman is that pearly, white, clean slate that she used to be years ago. I want you to know that's not the Cayman today. I want you to know that Cayman is in a mess now. Yes, we're praying. I know some of you ready to talk about pray. Oh, you know, every time, every time Bishop Fagan or, you know, Prophetess Fagan or whatever, open her mouth, it's about calamity. Let me tell you something. If you think that whether I open my mouth or don't open my mouth, it could change anything, you make a sad mistake. If you think that us jumping up when something happened or a hurricane coming and everybody stop a God, 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 God. If you think that that's going to work all the time in the sight of God, then you don't understand the God we serve because he's a just God. He is a just God. And so everybody just want this God, want God to be this little teddy bear God that is in a corner, and as you weep, shed two tears, he come and pat you on the shoulder. No, no, no. 
God is just. He recompenses fairly. He pays fairly. And so when we sit down there and elevate things that is abominable in his sight, what do we expect to happen? It's just the beginning of it. As I said the other day, the waters, the waters are troubled around Cayman. Huh? You understand? Don't be surprised if they don't start holding up parliament. Don't be surprised if they don't start because from they start with these machine guns and they start spraying bullets. What do you think is next? They're getting kicks out of those things. What do you think is next? The police force in Cayman has not been trained and well equipped enough for these guys. You see what's in Cayman now? Machine guns. What's next? A, a nation that forget their God must expect anything. And it, you wait until you wait until the end of July. You wait until the end of July and going into the first of August. You wait and see what gonna happen in Cayman after the door has been taken off. It's not gonna just be flung open now. The door gonna be taken off for any coverage and protection. Because everybody now is upset when the pastor speaks or when the church speaks. When the church, when the church um, you know, was speaking out. And the Ministers Association speaking of men who's calling themselves Christians rise up against the church. So now that all these things is happening in front of your door moat, don't say anything. You should put on a party. You should start rejoicing and say, yes, this is what we want to see happening. It came out, came out too quiet, came out too nice. We need some action. We need some country and Western movement going on. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening now. And, and I won't hold back my mouth. Of course I am praying. I'm praying. Of course I'm praying. And I will continue to pray. But I will continue to speak the truth also as a voice piece of God. I'm not going to be intimidated or fearful by anybody. I don't care who you are. And so if, 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 if the border patrol, if, 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 if the border patrols are not strengthened, more boats are not brought in and more people are not equipped to guard the eastern shores, the western shores, the southern shores. You understand? The northern shores. Don't be surprised if a flux of Haitians don't start coming in with their guns and, 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 and strengthening those that are already there. Let me tell you something. What you hear me saying? What you hear me saying? You know, over the last few couple of months, some of you would have heard, some of you would have, over the last couple of months, right now I'm still pursuing my studies in criminal psychology. You know, the mindset of criminals. Criminals know the weakness. They know the weak points. They know that if, even if police, even if 10, 10 hundred police cars were out there, they don't care because they're overpowering the police force. When you have machine guns, which, which police you see carrying machine gun? Which part in Cayman the police force have machine guns? No, 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 this is it. They, many of these young people seize the opportunity because they see what's going on. They know, they already know. Listen, man, the, the gates open up for us. We can do anything we want to do now because the focus is not on us. The focus is on protecting, protecting everything else beside them watching what's going on and so this is where we are now if we don't stop the gun violence if we don't stop the the, the, the gun violence in Cayman and we don't put a stop to that now if you have to close down some of these hot spots for a while close them down you understand if if, if you have to close down and, 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 and when we look at even our, our our local security guards many of them empty hand empty hand you understand if you're not careful these gunmen don't start running into the police stations and taking away guns and stuff this is this is what happened when a nation forget her god you know the word of god says in matthew 6 33 the word of god say but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness his righteousness 
and all these things shall be added unto you the blessings the covering the protection the divine supernatural protection the revelation of things you understand by the prayer warriors people will 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 start to discern and see get visions and dreams but you see when you turn your back on god and you start elevating sin and you start arms and gloves sin and you fly up in god's face when you see a sunday evening a, 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 a evening that the church is you know has been that, that that's the day that has been consecrated and dedicated for christians and when you see a lgbt flag can be risen on the beach you're not going to tell me that the waters is not troubled in the Cayman Islands. Let me tell you, people, this is the beginning of it. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for what's coming. The few of us who pray in, the few of us who pray in, God will overshadow and protect. He knows those that are his. And even sometimes the righteous suffer. The righteous suffer with the sinners you understand because god pour rain on the just and the unjust so sometimes when things get out of control christians are also caught in the crossfire you understand but i serve notice i serve notice on everyone who wants to rise up against pastors and against the churches it is the church it has been the church, it is the church, it is the Holy Ghost, the restrainer that has not brought on these things before in Cayman. And now we find the restrainer is slowly but surely being lifted. You understand? Because of the attacks, even by some who profess to be Christians who should know better. They have joined the masses and saying things about the churches and many of you listening and I hope you share this audio with everybody from top to bottom, from parliament to, to wherever. I hope you share it. Let me tell you something. Cayman is in a mess right now. This is the beginning of it. This is only the, 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 just the little appetizer of what's coming with these criminal elements. You understand? They, they realize, they realize let me tell you something. They realize right now the police force is fearful. The police force is intimidated now by these machine guns and these guns that are that these high-powered weapons that is in Cayman. And it ain't no use to us pointing no fingers. Let me say something also. You know, it ain't no use to us pointing fingers solely on Jamaicans alone and think because we got some young Caymanians. We got some young Caymanians that is in the batch. There is a mixture of all nations right now in Cayman. Everything mixed up right now. We don't even know what's going on. You understand? So there's a blender. There's a blender mix up in Cayman. Of, from coming from all angles. You understand? And so I am praying. I am saddened. I am here in Jamaica. I mean, you know, we used to hear in these things. This has come in like, like you're eating cereal. To sit down and hear these things here in Jamaica. But to see for such a small island. To see our small island. When you sit down on the 7 o'clock news. And you're watching and you're seeing these things. I'm embarrassed. I am so embarrassed brothers and sisters. Ladies and gentlemen. I am very embarrassed. To know. And everybody's saying this to me. And they know that I'm Cayman. And they're saying what happened to your island man? What's going on in Cayman man? Boy, came and gone, came and gone. We're talking about tourism. We're talking about opening back up the sector. You're not going to find tourists going to come because they're going to start wanting to be robbing tourists on the beaches and in the condos and in the hotels. My God, you see, a nation that forget her God. And so for all of you who kick, 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 and laughing and, and talking about, well, you know, um, you know, leave the people alone, you know, this and that. Well, okay. Leave them alone. But when sin start to run rampant and blood start to run like water, don't say nothing, man. Keep your mouth shut. Because this is what sin brings. This is what happens when the door has flung open. 
Do you understand? A nation that forget her God is a nation that is in deep trouble. Huh? A nation that is left on her own. All I can say, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. The floodgates, some of you don't like it, but I'm saying it again. The floodgates has been opened and the door is about to come off. Comes the end of August when the LGBT have their pride parade. They have taken the word pride. They are proud of what they're doing. And when that door is taken off, Get ready, K-Man. Get ready for all that is lurking because God is grieved. God is grieved. K-Man is too small for all of this. K-Man is too small for all of this. And these are my few words to all of you who are listening. You understand? In John 14, in verse 14, I'll leave you with this. It says, if, notice, if you shall ask anything in, in my name, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. He said, if you shall ask anything in my name, he said, I will do it. How many people you see asking anything in Jesus' name now? Yes, there is a few of us. Few, when I say of us, yes, there's a few. But the majority, the majority of the people that came on is, is, is for anything that is an abomination. Anything that fly up in God's face, many are for it. But those of us that know God and know the power of prayer, know the power of prayer and fasting will continue. I refuse to keep silent. For those of you that don't like to hear this voice, I refuse to be silent. I born ya. Let me say it. I born ya. I'm a Caymanian. And when God raised me up as the first native born Cayman woman pastor, that's right. Put it in the history books. He knew that one day would come that I would not be afraid. I would be a Shamar prophet, one that sits on the wall, one that watches, one that is not afraid, one that will weep like Jeremiah for the people. When Jeremiah wept over Jerusalem, the people mocked him, they jeered him, they laughed at him until they saw the destruction. So these are my few words. May God help us in the Cayman Islands. And I pray that those criminal elements will be found and will be dealt the full hand of the law. And I sympathize with the families who have lost their loved ones. I sympathize. God bless you all. Shalom. Make sure you share. Make sure that you share this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. And hit the gray bell. So that you never miss anything I upload. Whether it's ministry. Whether it's um, health, education or otherwise. Because as the Lord leads me, I will speak. God bless you, Cayman Islands.